Volkswagen spells fun differently, though it still uses just three letters. The GTI has been turning miles into smiles since 1983 in the U.S. With prices starting at $26,400, the seventh generation is the perfect solution for couples quarreling between performance and practicality. I've been lucky to drive some very expensive and very high performance cars in my day, and yet one of my favorite driving memories ever was in a GTI. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun. It is, however, best to stay on the road. A uh, pilot error I'll explain shortly. First, a quick primer. This 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder makes 220 horsepower on premium fuel. 258 pound-feet of torque surges early in the rev range. I am manually rowing through six gears. The driving experience can be tuned. Power goes to the front wheels with tires optimized for dry pavement, uh, something I was well aware of. Not exactly the best day to test a performance car. Talk about foreshadowing. In dry conditions, car and drivers says 0 to 60 spools up in 6.1 seconds and pulls 0.93 lateral Gs on the skid pad. That's tenacious cornering. But forget the numbers and stats that the performance gauges offer up. GTI has that rarest of commodities in an affordable car, soul. Clutch action is light and accurate. Shift throws, relatively short, very solid. This is the kind of manual transmission you just kind of become one with. In hard cornering, GTI can automatically apply the inner rear brake, providing a more capable controlled dynamic. The steering weight is perfect. There's high zen here during hijinks. GTI has a palpable refined quality to it, almost like it's a full grade more expensive than it is. The road and engine sound is appropriate for a performance car, but not intrusive. Ride quality is comfortable. The practical spouse won't complain about harshness. All right, back to transmissions. This is very nice, but there is also the legendary six-speed dual-clutch automatic. Lightning quick shifts, kind of hard to go wrong with either box. GTI is like that friend in college that pushed you to have a good time. It's all fun and games until water washes gravel onto a corner. Whoa, we're not gonna make it. Even at 15 miles an hour, it's like ice. We're stuck. That's an understatement. If only I were in a Touareg. A few folks offered to help yank me and production assistant Martin Campbell out. A great way to make new friends, but glad we called a professional. All right, $260 later, let's continue. My fault, always drive to conditions. We spent an hour waiting for the tow, plenty of time to admire the interior. Materials are top notch. Happily, VW refrained from fake carbon fiber. Cars twice the price don't get ambient lighting and soft lining to dampen rattles. The upscale SE gets an exceptional sound system and changes up GTI's traditional plaid cloth for leather. The heated seats hug like a mom after a kid's week at summer camp. Apple CarPlay is here. The user interface is above average, offering a way to drive more efficiently. And here's a neat trick. In wet conditions, the camera lens always stays clean. The only real gripe here, no auto climate control. Mazda Miata, also affordable and fun to drive, but they don't have back seats. GTIs is very usable. Two adults will be quite comfortable, bisected by the drive shaft tunnel used in the high-performance R model. Uh, could have used all-wheel drive. No place to charge phones, but VW didn't cheap out on the pocket lining. All in all, GTI would be a good solid choice for families in a hurry. Yes, GTI really hauls. It's also pretty good at cargo, too. Five packs of the two-ply is a good score for any hatchback this size. Choose between some underfloor storage or maximum space mode. If two couples go skiing, all the gear can be kept inside. The beauty of hatchbacks is that they're as versatile as small crossovers. A bicycle will fit back here or give the neighbors something to talk about by bringing 14 bundles of TP home. 
For those into safety, GTI can be had with a driver's assistance package that includes auto braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot warning. Considering just one use of the tech can easily pay for itself, I personally would fork over the $595. As for reliability, uh, that's tough to speak to. Best I can tell is that it's up dramatically with this generation of Golf. The closest hot hatch competition is Ford Focus ST. At $30,700 as tested, shoppers will have a tough time beating GTI's triple threat of performance, refinement, and utility. It does everything well, except off-roading. GTI is strictly a four-door now in the US. Some buying advice? Moving up from the base S model is a $2,400 jump, but possibly worth it since the brake discs are bigger front and rear, both are single piston calipers. Also, the base car's engine is set at 210 horsepower. No 10 extra ponies on premium gas for those who want every edge possible. Also added is the VAQ differential that gets rid of torque steer. After the GTI's mud bath, Martin and I had to go find a hose. Because there was so much junk in the wheels, the car vibrated over 20 miles an hour. Special thanks to Steven at Chuck's Auto Sales. Not only did he let us use the hose, he refused any money. He even started the process for us. Well, Steven, thank you very much. Yeah, well, you're going to need a whole bunch more here. Yeah, this because what the cavity in these tires right behind here. Oh yeah, don't the, I know it? It yeah. took at least 20 minutes of persistence to get the gunk out of there. Could have been worse. There was nothing solid to hit, and we kept it shiny side up, and no one was hurt. Only a bruised ego and wallet on my part. All right, that's what happened when I had the Volkswagen GTI. Obviously, pilot error on my part by ending up in the ditch. This is a brilliant driving machine. Don't ever be in a hurry. I was in a hurry because, as you can see, it's beginning to snow, and I knew that. So I was trying to speed things up. It just always bites you in the butt. All right, and special thanks again to all the people that helped me. It took quite a long time to clean this car up. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.